Okay, sat down to do this guy as a time lapse, but then I'm looking at the box here and I'm like, man, this is high quality. So I thought I'd do a whole review of what this is, looking it over and then doing a build. Um, I've seen these style kind of pop up around the internet. Um, these are not, you know, Lego sets. These are a different brand, I guess, or knockoffs or whatever you want to call them. But I don't know, this just kind of called to me. So I bought one, it was only 20 bucks, but man, the box is high end. I mean, I don't know if it gets across in the video, but the feel of it is just like, ooh, this is really nice. It's like a very high end premium cell phone box or something. I don't know, it's very hard to explain, but it's very soft to the touch. There's like a nice glaze to it. And, and I even noticed looking around, if I can get the image to show up here, there's little like, waves embedded in the picture and you only see it very subtly uh, in the right light so like you can't see it there at all but then tilt it a little up and there it is and it's all over the box the entire thing i thought that was just an amazing touch so really really cool you got this like glow multicolored thing going on too and it's like man they went all out in the box here so just looking it over some more because i haven't really looked at this much beyond that a lot of Chinese text and, oh, it's a battery. Is this powered somehow? Oh, look at this. So apparently there's lights, <laughs> which I did not know when I purchased it. Touch to turn on the light. There you go. Sinking of the Mary. <laughs> it's an old pirate ship, I guess. The knock on the Queen Mary, maybe? One of the most famous ships in the world. But yeah, high end. Let me see if I can open it up then. I was trying to look right before this to see how many pieces there are, but it doesn't seem to say. Um, I don't know, but I can't probably do this with one hand, so let me do this. All right, box off. Let's see what's inside. Hey, ho ho. Look at this. The fanciness continues. Um, I guess these are two boxes. Like this, this is still like premium quality. They went all out on the on the casing here. Now let's see if I can get this. Can I just dump it over, maybe. I'm... All right, just pulled these out upside down. Actually, let me get it back up right because that is. Very fancy. Um, also, I noticed it comes with the batteries, which I did not expect. So, wow, I'm like uber impressed with all of this so far. And again, only 20 bucks, what a steal. Book, I'd like to see. Some of these knockoffs, you only get like a PDF manual, which is just stupid. I like a real book. Oh yeah, look at this. Very nice. And then, what is, is this a missing page or something? Why do I have this random <laughs> page? Let's see, 30, page 32. What's the difference? I see none. So I don't know what the deal is, but I do notice they actually use what, it looks like they use the, 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 pe the breakaway piece in the build, which I've never seen before. That's crazy. Maybe it's on the other side. Wait, that's 43. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. What is different? Wait. They moved the numbers around. 92, 93, 92, 93, 94, 95, 95, 94. <laughs> no, they went this way. This is what it's like, it's a C. You go here, 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 but over here they moved it to go do, 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 do. Okay. Sure. Um, let me open up one of these guys. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Look at this. That is some high quality paper material. 
I'm telling you. Oh, I, okay. So I was wondering how they were gonna do this because clearly like it's an aquarium, right? And this looked like one solid piece. And I'm, and it, I'm like, how are they gonna ship that? But I guess that's what this side is because it's just a aquarium. Is it a full box? Oh, it is. Okay, so it's a full piece, meaning that you can actually fill this with water. So in the end, after I get this built, um, I'm gonna fill it up, see what it looks like. There you go. Ta-da! And then here's the base, I guess, which lights up, supposedly. All right. Don't think I can convert it. Oh, look, <laughs> it popped open. Don't think I can convert it to a USB. I think it has to use these batteries. Otherwise I might put it in the display here somewhere, but um, without without that, I don't think I can. No matter. Let's check out the pieces. Are they Lego size or are they mini? On the box, it says something about mini. So I'm expecting them to be smaller than a Lego, typical Lego piece, but let's find out. They are, yeah, minis. So these look like like the Laws sizes. No matter, I like these a lot because it feels like they got a lot of good detail. Um, I built a number of Laws sets, like all these are Laws. That big treehouse in the back is. Um, they're two thirds the size of a normal Lego brick, but they feel so much smaller when you're looking and comparing and looking at the different models. Like. These two trees, probably, because this is the real Lego set, right? And then that's the Laws set in the back. That set would be huge if that was real Lego. It'd be like that. Um, but I like these. And they're high quality, really good pieces. So this looks really fun. <laughs> and $20. Like, this is incredible. And there's a lot more pieces here than I would have thought. The box alone is like mind-blowingly premium. I, I did not expect that at all. Um, but yeah, next up, we're gonna build this sucker and then fill it with water and see how it all goes. <laughs> well, hold the phone because I just noticed when I was putting this thing back together since it fell apart. Look at that, there is a USB port. So I'm thinking, yes, you can absolutely plug this into the wall and just have it be lit constantly without draining your battery. So, wow, like, I could not have asked for anything more. Like, this is incredible. It really is incredible. Somebody really did a phenomenal job with putting this all together. I am so impressed. Now I, I, now I need to physically put the model together and hopefully I'll be just as impressed because this is really, 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 really cool so far. And I, like I said, never seen anything, anything like it packaged this nicely. It's absolutely incredible. So here it is all done. Uh, I decided to split out this video because it was getting kind of long. So the actual builds and the time-lapse which came out really great is in another video that I put up before this one. Uh, this is just the unboxing and the reveal and the review. The actual time lapse and build, which turned out really cool, is uh, you know in that other one. And, and the slow motion stuff with the water, man, I got to do more water stuff with Lego pieces because that really really looked good. Um, yeah, I really like this model. I, it's way beyond my expectations for when I first saw this and. and wanted to get one. Like I said, there's kind of different iterations of the same thing out there, uh, but I thought this was the best looking one, even though there's a couple more with uh, fish and coral and all this and stuff, but I really like the ship. I thought the ship was a nice touch and I really like how it's poking out at the top, uh, especially when it's filled up with water. But yeah, um, I tried the lights, which here, I'll show you. <laughs> I had to get my battery pack there. I forgot to <laughs> grab that. So this is it with the lights on. You can barely see the blue. So I didn't even like bother with it in the video uh, of the build. Um, but if I turn these top lights off, you get, I guess, an impression of what that could look like with the <laughs> lights. Um, I also noticed they turn off within like 30 seconds. At least it did for me. 
when I was playing with it, but that might be my battery pack. I noticed sometimes you gotta like click up the battery pack on in order to do this. So if I plug it into the wall, maybe it will stay up, but I don't think it's worth like putting it in the display over here somewhere with the lights on. Um, it's just, it's not as cool as I, I guess would have hoped or liked. Um, but hey, I didn't even know it had lights, so I can't complain at all. <laughs> that was a, a bonus, bonus for me. So yeah, I might do another one of these. I might do some more water stuff with Legos because that was that came out really good. We'll see. We'll see where it goes from here. But uh, this one was a big win in my book. Really liked it. Really glad I did it. Um, if you're gonna get one of these, like this is in there. You're not getting this out. Um, <laughs> it's you had to like really cram it down into here, so it ain't coming out on its own. You're gonna have to destroy the model to pull it out. Um, so I'm probably just going to leave it in this little case and then put it, I don't know, somewhere over here in something. Um, yeah. So there it is. Sorry if I ruined the preview if you didn't see the other one yet, but I definitely suggest you do because it's really, really awesome and uh, really, really cool. So that's it for now. Time to go swim with the fishies.